Welcome back everyone and here I am with the mighty Fossil Abacus 5005 released in 2003, the mighty PDA watch. We are going to take a look at design, features and availability as usual, but this will be a two-part video. In part one we're going to do a short overall review uh, from the exterior and well, there will be a second video in-depth look at the features of the watch and how it pairs with the PC and what you can download and do with it. So let's go first with the design. Here we are with the Fossil Abacus and it is uh, a clunky big watch. Uh, it does weigh around 180 grams. Uh, it's a watch that when you put it for the first time on your wrist you will uh, feel, feel it heavy and it will continue to be so along the day because you know when you first put on a watch in the morning uh, for 10 minutes you will be aware of its presence but then your hand gets used to uh, the weight and the shape and for the rest of the day uh, as you are working uh, you will forget that it's there but this is something that you will always know uh, is tied to your wrist. Look, looking at the shape you can see that uh, somebody really took their time in designing the watch as it has some very beautiful lines um, although the, the screen is square as you go out uh, as you go outwards you can see that uh, the design smooths out and the bracelet uh, looks like it's seamlessly integrated into the metal body the band is rubber on the inside and uh, it has this uh, I don't think it's leather I think it's uh, one of those uh, fake or ecological leathers but it does feel uh, really good uh, in terms of quality uh, this inside thread I suppose is that so you have ventilation so your arm doesn't sweat uh, because of the leather uh, because of the rather wide bracelet to use the screen you have a stylus included and the stylus is hidden inside the clasp and this is not the first time we see this design and we've seen it uh, in another video for the Alba but there are uh, many other manufacturers that uh, went for this option and you pull it out and you can see it says uh, Abacus and the nice feature of this is that it's actually like a pocket knife so you can act you can uh, open it up it does click it has two places where it clicks this one and at 90 degrees and you can uh, you can use it on on the watch's screen and you, you you can use your finger too but if there is something that is uh, uh, smaller on the screen you you can uh, you can use the stylus and it actually draws a line on the uh, if you press against the screen no matter where you are in the menu just so you know um, where where the, the stylus is folding it back in it goes into the clasp very easily and and one, one thing uh, um, and this is I bet this isn't by accident it's is the fact that the plastic part goes beyond uh, uh, the metal handle of the stylus and I believe this was so you don't have so you don't all, always have to uh, fold it out you can actually use it this way on the screen so if you're in a hurry uh, you don't have to um, to uh, fold it out and that fold it back in so you can safely stow it as I said in terms of quality uh, the the build quality is exceptional it's really really good uh, the finishing is nice and you can tell that uh, that it was built uh, to be used in a business professional environment so back in 2003 if you had this on you it, it would just say uh, yeah I'm a busy professional this is my workhorse 
uh, I do have the latest laptop in my briefcase. At the top it has an infrared port and uh, I, I believe this uh, can be used to sync with the PC. Uh, actually I know that for a fact because when you go in the sync menu you have the option to use the USB port or the infrared port. And another nice uh, uh, gimmick of the watch is that you can beam your details to another person that has a, a similar watch. Uh, don't know if it works between a watch or a PDA. It might since this is a mini PDA, but you could actually, when you meet somebody and if they all uh, they have a similar watch, you can just go into close proximity and uh, beam your business card to them. The controls are very large and easy to access. Um, you have a button on the bottom left side, two more buttons on the right and then you have this rocker switch here and you can see it has uh, uh, multiple ways of representing the time if uh, it defaults to timekeeping mode if you don't do anything on it and you can cycle uh, through through different screens it depends on how how you you, you want to read the time and this can also be pressed inwards so you can access the menu. Uh, it does have a backlight. Let's see if we can see that because it's daylight. There we go. On the top left corner we have the U micro USB, the, sorry, the mini USB port and it is covered by this plastic flap which opens up as so and that's where you connect the cable and this was obviously uh, so you can uh, have some, uh, well, maybe not water tightness, but just so dust doesn't get in. Recharging of the battery is done through the mini USB port. And now we're going to have a look at the menus. Uh, and the menus are the apps that it came bundled with. On the top left corner you can see it has this drop down which is a, a sort of a directory for the, the, uh, the applications it has installed and they are grouped uh, right now uh, they are grouped under all and if all is selected uh, if you cycle through the, the menu uh, you will all have them in a single list but you can also sort them by games main system utilities, uh, undefined, and what's that, edit Kate? Edit cate categories. <laughs> so if, if we go into games, hold on, games, you can see there are no games installed. So in terms of feature, well, there is one big feature that this watch has, and it's the fact that it is a wrist. PDA. Now, if you don't know what the PDA is, it stands for Personal Digital Assistant and it was a form of portable computers used back in the 90s uh, and early 2000s. More details on PDAs you can find online. A lot of information, you will see that a lot of makers thought that this was the future, but it was actually a very small period uh, in technology development. The watch runs Palm OS, with Palm is the uh, de facto industry uh, operating system for PDAs, Palm OS 4.1. For specs it has a 66 MHz Motorola CPU, 8 MB of RAM and a 160 by 160 uh, monochrome display and it has pretty good density and you get a really good picture 
uh, for monochrome display. The watch came with a multitude of apps already installed, but you could download apps from the internet uh, or you could make them yourself. But uh, among the apps that the watch already came installed with uh, are, and hold on, I have a list here, um, address book, data book, to-do list, calculator, memo pad. So just the general um, uh, applications that you would generally need um, in a business environment. To connect with the PC, it has a mini USB port. Uh, micro USB uh, wasn't uh, that popular in that time. Uh, I'm not even sure uh, it was a mainstream option. So that's what you use to connect the PC. Uh, it also has an infrared port. Battery wise, uh, it doesn't have your typical uh, uh, lithium polymer battery that you see nowadays if you open an electronic, you know, like those wrapped uh, in a silver pack. It actually has a button cell battery um, and it is a rechargeable battery. Um, without using it uh, and just sitting around, you can get around five days of battery life and with some use uh, of the watch, you will usually get two to three days. Now, in terms of availability, this watch is not really that rare and you can find uh, many of them online on eBay um, which usually are in uh, new old stock because this device really didn't cut on at the time it was released. The fun part is that it came in many variations. This is uh, the, the one that I have is the AU5005, there are also 5006, 07 so it makes it fun to collect for because you have all of these options. Price-wise, for some reason, uh, they are truly, truly expensive and I, I, I don't know what's the justification behind that. Uh, you can find them between $150 and $500 on eBay, but my advice is uh, don't go around and spend $300 for a watch like this, even if it's new old stock. Uh, you can wait around until some somebody posts a watch uh, with a reasonable price uh, which should be between $100 and $150. That is it for this short review of the Fossil Abacus. Join me next time when the review continues with more detailed information on how to sync your watch with the PC, um, how you can download something from the internet and application and download it to the watch and uh, how you can develop your own software for the watch and what tools you need. So it will be a massive video. Uh, I will try to keep it below 20 minutes, but so yeah, it's, it, it's going to be a long video. If you don't want to sit through it, you can just skip it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up at that, as that really helps me. And until next time, wear your digital watches.